The door suggests the beginning of the spiritual journey. That common humanity is、uh, the quest of religion and of faith here. Like life, everything's a journey, and in this piece, what's lovely is that emotional state you start up with in the beginning transforms and changes, and it has its valleys and mountains to the very end. For example, in the beginning, there's a sense of urgency, the sense of、um, frustration. Then at the end, there's this quietness, there's this light, but then there's something beyond that. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tat Savitur Parinyam Bargo Devas Yadi Mahi Dio Yonat Prajodayat. Mujh metle lai ham akem tarna. We don't have a facilitator, or a priest, or, or any kind of intermediary. Between us and spirit or God, and so as we're sitting in silence and seeking, what we're seeking is truth. Some people call that God within; others call it the light within. What has been happening in our laboratory is that there is this amazing gentleness, or openness, or willingness to receive that I think has been for us very inspiring. As a dance artist, I'm not interested in taking things from whatever is exist. But I try to absorb. I'm trying to immerse myself in the undercurrent energy, so that gives us a reason and honesty why I move. The duet that I have with Wally is inspired by a story circle. The imagery really. Soaked into us, we immediately had a sense of earthiness, a sense of a connection to the ground, connection to each other. It was definitely something innate. It's purely physical and energetic. Each dancer made a solo. It was based off of a phrase Kun Yang did. He told us to take it apart. We can attach、um, our answers to those three questions.、So、my answer was freedom. And then after that, he paired us up in duets, and we have these individual phrases. And our task was to put them together. In freedom, there's this fear that you never come back, but in the dance, you see that I'm supported. I still have that structure. I still have、um, that groundedness. It's a privilege you can be working with a wonderful a group of.、Uh, Artists from different genre and thinkers, scholars, everyone delving into this deep question, and they have that dialogue. And then dance, in a way, is just very organic, and through that intuitive place, the dance is also just unfold from that. Every single time I've watched this, I've discovered a want of figuring out the identity of the self. The identity of the group and the identity of the universe around this group, and so I think media、uh, and projection will play a role in each of those uh, aspects. Uh, and I feel like the piece is a, is the media trying to find its way into every crevice of the action of the piece. What I'm trying to create. Is a sense of space, a sense of reverence. It's a sense of celebration and struggle. It's trying to find voices of faith that don't necessarily reference the obvious. I think the dance isn't to show you how a Hindu practices or how a Jewish person, you know, experiences faith. If you take specific religion out of it, you realize that in faith,、um, though there are a lot of differences, there's a lot of similarities. And I think we all end up asking the same questions. 
In the world in which we live, we need to find as many different ways as possible to communicate with one another. And if that is through the mind, it's terrific. If it is through conversation, it's wonderful. But if it can also be through movement, that's just another dimension.